Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a horror film from Belgium, French language English subs, released in the year 2022, directed by Karim Kalhaj, and this film is called Megalomaniac. So Megalomaniac is about this infamous serial killer. He had children, and now that he's gone, the children are actually going to take after the father, especially the young man. So the sister is getting horribly assaulted at her work. She's a very strange individual, and a lot of people prey upon that vulnerability. But the uh, young son, who is in charge of the murders is continuing this horrible rampage. So after a while we start to learn the dynamics within the family and whether or not they can carry on and uh, live a somewhat normal life is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Mega Lomaniac. This is a movie that comes with a lot of hype. A lot of people have been saying that this is one of the most brutal films in a very long time and it really is a trip to the French horror wave of extremity. The French films such as Martyrs, Inside, uh, total barbarity that is showing the ugliness of humanity. So for that reason I really wanted to see Mega Lomaniac. I was hoping that it was going to be a throwback to those movies and it's an indication that it's not lost. It's an art form that is still around. It's directors that are willing to to push those boundaries of decency and what the audience is able to cope with. So with all those expectations coming into this film, I will say that Megalomaniac is definitely a victim of being overhyped. It's not a great film, unfortunately, for reasons that I'll go into, but I will say that it has a very dark heart. The dark heart this movie possesses is very similar to Martyrs and Inside. Movies that don't promise a sugar coating sort of happiness, uh, you're happily ever after. It's not so much you know, evil is going to be outdone by good. Uh, in this movie, there's no real good in the film. And so so you don't know where to really uh, support and without any support sort of network you feel very vulnerable because you shouldn't be uh, watching what these people are doing and you, although you're not condoning it you do have a sense of sympathy so these characters are doing things and you feel as though they're a victim of their circumstances but what they do is totally horrific therefore they come across as very scary but again their father was this horrible serial killer so what hope did they have and so especially this younger woman who is horribly assaulted at her work I will say that her character is a very sympathetic individual but I thought she was doing things that made her just as bad as you know the people that were assaulting her and so who do you actually support and because there's no one to really root for you have this strange sense of emptiness it's a very hollow feeling and that's the dark heart that this movie possesses it's a very very nasty film there are moments that will have you flinching there are moments that are very realistic and it doesn't have that sense of entertainment Martyrs was very similar Martyrs is not a movie you go into with a bit of popcorn and a beer Martyrs is a movie that you survive instead of actually experience and this is definitely one of those movies it's got very very dark and bleak cinematography very dark and disturbing characters as I said there's no one in this movie who has a sense of good about them apart from the victims but they're not really in play too much. It's basically these characters that are the sole driving force of just really damaged individuals and as they start to unravel you see just how insane they are. So the, glo uh, the gloomy sort of atmosphere is backed by a very very uh, gloomy soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack created that strong sense of, you know, it emphasised that sense of doom and gloom and hopelessness, and the whole film just reeks of hopelessness, and it's a very dirty sort of feeling that the movie has. I thought the violence was handled in a way that I have issues with, but I will say that it is done in a way that you don't really enjoy. It's, as I said, it's very much like Martyrs, and also Snowtown, an Australian movie that I thought was really realistic in its sense of violence, and showing violence in a very respectful way, because it's not something to enjoy. It's actually a horrific sort of act. And so horror films, they lose that sense of horror because it does have that sense of entertainment but this megalomaniac understands the true essence of what a horror film is so I thought the characters were fairly interesting and the way it unfolds I just thought all right well it's going from bad to worse and it's just a train wreck and but you can't help but keep your eyes on the screen and so although the movie has its issues I still thought as though the director did a good job at maintaining your interest because of the dark world that's very uncomfortable but it's also uh, very, uh, it takes a talented sort of director to maintain the interest in such an ugly world that you can't relate to, but you feel as though you can relate to the characters in a very strange way. So if you like your really dark and depressing horror films, then Megalomaniac is definitely one that I would recommend. Unfortunately, the reason why I didn't enjoy it as much is because I thought the editing was actually pretty poor. I thought the, uh, the transition from scene to scene was very cheap, and I thought the really jumpy sort of camera within the violence was almost as though it was stage fright. It wasn't willing to go that extra step 
step, that tiny extra step, to really cap off what was the barbarity that this movie had. I still thought it was very, very shaking. You can't see exactly what's going on. You know there's a lot of blood and guts, but you can't quite see what is going on. And I just thought as though the director kind of flinched away from that just a little bit. In Martyrs, it's very in your face, it's very graphic, and you can see exactly what's going on. Whereas in this movie, I just thought that they would held back a little bit. I didn't know if that was deliberate, maybe to give you the disorientating sort of feel that the movie wants. But for me, I just thought as though the editing was very off and it just felt as though it was very amateurish uh, and it doesn't really mix in well with the rest of the film. So it is a very long movie. It does outstay its welcome a little bit. I will say that the continuity, although I never got bored, I started to look at my watch here and there because the characters are very interesting, but unfortunately it's just the editing takes you out of it. It's a disjointed sort of film. The transition from scene to scene is very uneven and therefore I couldn't really enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the French horror extremity. But I will say that Megalomaniac is an indication that directors are still out there willing to test audiences and to upset audiences without any apologies. So if Megalomaniac is your sort of thing, I would highly recommend it. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but I appreciated it because it is a step in the right direction as far as, as, far as the true essence of horror is concerned. And as a result of that, I'm going to give Megalomaniac three stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.